Hello and welcome to this week's Climate Dispatch. Johanna Meller of the Vermont Natural Resources Council, joined here by my colleague Lauren Hurl, Vermont Conservation Voters, and Senator Allison Clarkson of Windsor uh, County. We're sitting in the Senate Economic Development Room. As you know, our leg fabulous legislative leaders have no staff. Here we are with our very busy um, <coughs> leadership team in the Senate. And it's been a big week for climate. We're grateful for you taking the time. More so, we're grateful for all you and your colleagues are doing on climate. Um, uh, Senator Clarkson's gonna give you a very high level, but this is a huge day and a big vote today on the Climate Superfund bill. And as you know, action on the renewable energy standard that's now in the Senate. So these guys have been up to a lot. Senator Clarkson, tell us what your priorities have been and what you hope for this week and this session. Well, uh, it is great to have you as, <coughs> Senators also have no offices, so you're meeting in our collective <laughs> committee room. Uh, I'm Allison Clarkson, and uh, one of our top priorities, uh, we've had many top priorities, but two of our most important priorities have been flood recovery and supporting our communities and our natural environment, helping it recover, um, financing that, continuing our work on uh, mitigating the effects of climate change, and the third, is continuing our work reining in the damage that fossil fuel emissions are doing to our state and our country and our world. So in terms of what we're doing for flood recovery, we have passed a tax abatement bill, which we hope will help all our municipalities. We have supported business recovery through BGAP, and we're gonna to continue to work uh, supporting businesses and our municipalities through a number of measures um, at, in, that we have passed uh, through to the house uh, and the house back. It's a sort of universal value here mm -hmm. this year. Uh, the second area is, of course, con really uh, continuing our work on mitigating the effects of uh, climate change on Vermont and, we hope, on the rest of the country. We have two big bills from the Senate. One is government's response to uh, improving government's response to uh, natural disasters. One of the others is our uh, Flood Safety Act, uh, which is addressing, which addresses our dam, uh, improving our dam safety, really beginning. We now have our river corridor mapping done. We now need to do the work of planning how we're gonna mitigate flood damage on every river corridor. Uh, we also have passed the Renewable Energy Standard, which we're working on, which we hope will also be, really finally put the exclamation point on Vermont being a, a state de dedicated and devoted to renewable energy and using only renewable energy. And uh, we also have um, our housing, which we are moving, we have a huge housing bill and working very hard to move housing out of, of uh, flood hazard areas and out of harm's way, period. Uh, we have found through landslides, of course, there are a lot more harm's way than we had ever anticipated. Um, and of course, financing this work, which is another big piece. You can't just pass the policy. You have to put your money where your mouth is, and we have to pass the financing for all these things. Of course, and then we're continuing our work to rein in the uh, fossil fuel emissions. We're doing that uh, as we continue with the renewable energy standards, obviously, through continued work on weatherization continued work building out our EV infrastructure in Vermont. And um, I think that may be mostly, those are the big efforts for this year. Oh, and making big oil pay. How could I possibly forget <laughs> what's on the floor today? Uh, as we all know, mitigating the effects of climate change, it's gonna cost a bomb. Billions and billions of dollars. And this bill will enable us, uh, hopefully, over the course of the next several years, to really send uh, send that bill to the people who have created the harm. And that will enable us to really begin to finance the restoration and uh, improve resiliency in Vermont. And so keep your fingers crossed, making big oil pay is on the Senate floor today with lots of support, so I'm very hopeful. Excellent, and we're so grateful to have a Senate Majority Leader who is such a champion for a healthy environment for so long, and we're so grateful for all you do. It's such hard work, and I'm really excited to see today's vote on the Make Big Oil Play Climate Superfund bill. Um, so every week we like to have a call to action. So, so this week, 
If you see your senator out and about, if you want to write a little note, send a quick email, just give some thanks because they're taking some big important steps. Um, so thank them for making big oil pay, not leaving Vermonters with uh, the full bill for everything we're seeing from climate change and for all the other hard work they're doing on climate. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm and, honored. And we'll thank see you, you all so next week. Take care.